This story is a true story about Mr. Leo Frank, who lived in Atlanta, Georgia, 1913. And the subsequent trial of Leo Frank, who was convicted of a murder against an employee of his, Mary Fagan. Britt Craig is the uh, reporter in, uh, in this town who, uh, who kind of uh, influences and breaks the story. Jim Conley is very important to the story because he is a part of the whodunit. Was it him or was it Leo Frank? He's literally creating a narrative in his newspaper and that newspaper is the sole source of information of what's going on in this investigation. I'm playing Mrs. Fagan, Mary Fagan's mom. She's listening to the press and she believes whatever the press is telling her. There is a remarkable love story in this show because Leo and Lucille are very much, I mean, they are married, but there is a distance between them. And by the end, through the relationship with his wife becoming stronger, he actually opens up and I think for the first time, realizing that he really does depend upon her and appreciate her and love her. Um, I love this show. I, this is my third time I've done this. Um, it's my first time working at 3D. She died a noble death. Because I got to work closely with uh, Jason Robert Brown and Alfred Urey. So I got to be close to the creation of this musical and know what they meant and their motivation. The whole piece is really well constructed, but the, the dialogue to me doesn't feel like a musical. It feels like a play really dug in the history of the people. So that's the fun part. When you look at all the accolades that the previous production got, there's a reason why it won all those Ovation Awards and why they were able to bring it back again. The director, TJ, is taking it, you know, as this is this show, and that was that show. So he's expanded his thoughts on how he wants to present the story in, a, in, a, in, a, in the same way, but in a more full way as well. It's interesting. I think it's so American. That's a, and not in a in a real superficial kind of flag wavy Georgian kind of way. Like anti-Semitism, there's racism, there's misogyny, there's xenophobia, like there's just so many different um, themes that are being talked about. It's wonderful for that you can take through song and dance and acting. I mean dancing around stage but still have such a powerful message to be told. The story is more relevant today. We bring all of that weight with us to help tell the story. Plus, we have the new dynamics of new people. The reason why people should come see this show is because it will entertain you, but there are also a few messages, and I feel like a lot of us need to hear those messages right now. Spending your evening taking this piece of theater in is an evening well spent. And the value of this production as a whole in the costumes in the sets, in the acting, the direction of it all. Um, it's unlike anything you will see in this area. Oh.